Hello guys, and as I sat down to think what I want to tell you in this video today, I have realized that sometime soon I may need to rename the vlog from war in Ukraine into war in Russia. Why? Because with each week there are more and more explosions, destructions and even protests inside Russian Federation. War is returning back home to Russia, where it belongs. And honestly, I do not understand why global media do not highlight these events that clearly demonstrate Russia is losing. Let's do it together and look at this week and how many symptoms of Russia's failure and Ukrainian victories it brought to us. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So let's start with the freshest news. And these are serious explosions on one of the largest Russian oil refineries in Volgograd. I know, just like me, you like learning names of Russian cities based on the explosions there. And Ukrainian armed forces provide us with enough learning material. So within recent weeks, we had explosions on an oil refinery in Ustuluha, close to St. Petersburg on the shores of the Baltic Sea, then in Tuapse on the shores of the Black Sea, and now in Volgograd. And these explosions are huge. They not only destroy oil depots, but they ruin their production facilities. And most of these refineries later stop. This is not only good for Ukraine because we break Russian logistics chains, we don't let them enough uh, oil to uh, supply their army in the front lines, but we also negatively influence their economy and image because Russia continues trading oil with other authoritarian partners and now it's not able to do so because many of its oil refineries are blocked, actually destroyed, by small brave Ukrainian drones that are now capable of flying deep inside Russian Ria. This is beautiful and I hope smoking epidemic continues on other Russian oil refineries. Also, they continue killing their own people like crazy. I think close to 10,000 were lost near Avdiivka and Krimki. Almost half a year already it will be since they try to get these locations and just keep losing people. Any other normal, even evil but normal army in the world would have stopped long ago. But in Russia they are ready to organize as many meat waves as they can. It's not about creativity, it's not about technology, just about numbers of people. Russian trolls used to write me the names of Avdivka and Krynki as symbols of something, um, I don't know what. For me, these locations are symbols of Ukrainian resilience and Russian stupidity. Remember to subscribe to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine and to see Russia defeated. Also, uh, we continue destroying Russian jets, Russian boats, Russian weapons during this week, like, like Ukrainians. For example, on the 30th of January, we downed Russian Su in Luhansk region and also destroyed radio location station in Crimea. Uh, Crimea is very vulnerable now for Ukrainian attacks and events in Belbek airfield where another three Sus were burned together with one Russian general, uh, Tatarov. I don't remember exactly, but for sure he was all over Russian telegram, Tatarenko, Tatarenko. And uh, this is a signal that Crimea is returning back home. And to make it happen faster, we have to support Ukrainian armed forces. And I am so excited to announce my campaign with NAFO Community 69 Sniffing Brigade. I love them so much for matching me with the perfect unit. And you will understand why, because now Anna from Ukraine will help 
collect the money and support for NAFO 202.0 bus for another Anna from Ukraine who is really cool because she is a commander of a mortar unit. But I think she will explain it even better than me. Доброго дня. Мене звати Анна, мій позивний Олексіївна. Я командир мінометного взводу. Від імені кожного військовослужбовця свого підрозділу я би хотіла звернутися до наших друзів 69-ї сніфінг бригади через потребу у автомобілі. Мій підрозділ тривалий час брав участь у бойових діях на півдні України, а саме при звільненні Миколаївської області та Херсонської області. Автомобіль є невід'ємною частиною виконання бойових завдань. Наразі наш бойовий шлях ще не закінчений, оскільки окупанти ще є на території нашої держави. Проте ми знаємо, що завдяки такій допомозі за кордону наша перемога ще ближче. Дякую вам. Слава Україні! We have worked really hard to design the patch and it is the raccoon. I am so proud that this fluffy hero is now in the collection of NAFO and I do hope that it will become one of your favorite characters and that it will find home among other beautiful creatures that represent resilience and the support of people from all over the world. To join the campaign and to help us with Anna get the bus as soon as possible and all the beautiful NAFO community, follow the link that is in the description of this video and let's make it happen fast because raccoons are really fast and I'm really proud to be a part of this initiative. But coming back to the reasons why we still have to continue fighting, let me remind you about another Russian failure and in this case it's a person. It is the head of Russian army, General Herasimov, who is absent and nowhere to be seen. There are lots of rumors whether he's dead or alive. I think that even alive Russians are dead Russians because they've lost their souls to evil. And I think personally that we've seen all of these explosions and destructions and losses. Herasimov is simply drinking as they like doing it all of the time. Also, unfortunately, one of Putin's appeared with Russian athletes on a photo session, reminding us that Olympic Committee did a very wrong decision when they decided to let Russian athletes participate. This is a mistake similar to the one they did in 1936, if I'm not mistaken. Because in Russia, sport has always been a part of politics and all of these Olympic athletes are now taking picture with the Russian dictator Putin. And moreover, lots of their athletes are often members of Russian army. And just think about that. When hundreds, if not thousands, of Ukrainian athletes were already killed because of this invasion, when thousands of them are now in Ukrainian armed forces and cannot continue their sport careers, Olympic Committee allows them to participate in the Games. This is very, very wrong. Uh, but we will see that on the next Olympic Games, Russia will be present and the next president of Russia will again be Putin. I know many of you ask me about other candidates, but there are no other candidates in Russia and those who pretend to be different are actually the same. Let me know in the comments below, would you like to see a video on new candidates for a post of president in Russia and are there any hope? The answer is no already. Uh, but there is hope in Bashkorstan. Many of you follow the events in this far away uh, Republic of Russian Federation. And once again, I love reminding you that Russia is not the same as Russian Federation. Russian Federation is huge and it consists of 22 national republics and only one of them is Russia. By the way, we have a really good video uh, about the future dissolution of Russian Federation and don't be afraid of that. This is just the normal way of things in this world. Empires die out and Russia is the last one. So 
Let me know if you want an update of Bashkorstan, where protests started to support an activist who was actually protecting the nature of Bashkorstan, and he was accused of everything, including nationalism, that is favorite Russian accusation to all the other nations who want to be free and independent from Russian ord. And now more than 200 people were arrested, internet was out, and many other signals of authoritarian regime being afraid. Uh, what is more important, this protest did not stop, they continue. So for me, this is an example of uh, hope inside Russia. I definitely think more of such things are important than any other candidates or Navalny or whoever interests you. And coming back to these destructions that happened to Russian army and their boats and uh, so, so we downed four of their aircraft this week, one so in Luhansk region, as I've said, three in uh, Crimea on Belbek airfield, and we also sank their missile boat Ivanovets. Uh, which tried to escape but did not manage to do so and now dip inside the waters of Donuslav Lake because even Ukrainian lakes hate Russian missile boats. What are they doing there? Uh, the very best way for any Russian general or any Russian person or any Russian boat or aircraft to remain okay is to stay away from free and independent Ukraine. That turned out to be much stronger than all the world thought two years ago. So just a brief summary of this week demonstrates so much of our success uh, that there is no need to doubt or to stop supporting us because by supporting Ukraine, you guarantee future normality and return to peace. An aggressor, an invader must be punished, not just stopped, not just neutralized, but severely punished. And we see that karma is working and Russia is returning to war on its own territory. Uh, let me know what are the other topics you would like to hear on this channel. You remember I've asked you about potential candidates for a president of Russia. Yes, Putin will win. And second is a uh, protest in Bashkorstan. Also, thank you so much for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons and helping this channel develop. I am beyond grateful to have you in my life. Subscribe to my Instagram. I'm active there. Threads, Twitter and Discord. You can find me there. Also, we have a beautiful merch shop and most importantly, now let's show all the NAFO community how strong Anna from Ukraine community is and let's support Anna, the commander. I am very proud to be the part of this initiative and every minute I'm checking how donations are falling and the patch with Raccoon, it's cute. Like I actually had this vote and Raccoon won and I'm not angry. Thank you once again. All the links that you need are in the description of this video and in the first pinned link. Love you and Slava Ukraini!